Hello everybody, uh, my name is Robert Almeida and this is my in-depth video for my CS122A project. For my temperature sensor, uh, I've figured out that it has very sensitive voltages that it puts out depending on the reference voltage that's coming in. For this, I used this power source rail independently uh, just for the temperature sensor in order to get accurate readings um, that, will not, that will have reduced noise. The temperature sensor reads in ADC to the microcontroller. The microcontroller takes this and outputs it first to the Nokia display. Afterwards, it is sent over to the USART through the Bluetooth controller all the way over to the slave. The slave will receive USART and will push out to the relays which will handle all the power for the fan to turn on and off. The water system that I'm using works uh, just about in the exact same way. We take in our input through the soil moisture sensor into the microcontroller and that goes Bluetooth USART to the slave and the slave will also push out to the relay. Both of these systems are using different uh, voltages and amperes in order to make each component work. Hence why I needed to use a relay in order to be able to give the power that I needed to each component. So we can see over here the relay system that I'm using is four sets. The first one's controlling the lights turning on. The second one controls the lights turning off. The third one is controlling our fan and the fourth one is controlling our pump. The reason why I use two relays to turn the lights on and off is because I hardwired soldered into this controller which by itself is a wireless RF receiver. This receiver triggers our outlet port that will turn it either on or off based off the buttons that it's inputted. So what I did is I have it automatically turned on. So now the microcontroller through the use of the wireless controller will turn the lights both on and off. The Bluetooth application that we use to turn on the lights also work similarly as our temperature and our water display. This Bluetooth will send out to another one here that will do the exact same as sent to this microcontroller and the same process continues sending out to the slave, the microcontroller there and the relays. The reason why I'm using two microcontrollers here is because the Bluetooth modules that I bought are only able to pair one to one. So I am using this one here exclusively paired to the slave while the other Bluetooth is paired to the phone. The Raspberry Pi that I'm using is connected straight pinned to this slave. When it senses the input for its pin 2 on the Raspberry Pi, the program knows to, the Python script knows to turn on the camera and to snap a picture of the system. And these are all the components and the way we use them for my 122A project. Thank you for watching.